Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about inheritance and overriding and super keyword in JavaScript. What exactly inheritance? Inheritance is nothing but we can able to say parent and child relationship of the inheritance. Means which is the base class variables or methods or functions we are need to access, uh, access by using for derived class. Derived class is nothing but child class. It's a dependency one, okay? Like, see so now you can imagine, now this is my class A, okay? <clears throat> class A, okay? And this is my class B, class B, okay? I want to access class A having some variables, okay? It is having for variables and functions. We can able to call it as a methods also, okay? Methods. For this, all the methods and variables I want to access into here. It is a class B also having four variables and methods. Okay, but still it need to be access class A variables and also class B also. Okay, this is called a parent child relationship. Okay, and here we can able to make the some relationship and we can able to do it. Okay. <clears throat> and one thing here, if you provide like this, if you create a class A object, you cannot access for class B. Okay. But if you make the relationship between these two, okay, if you create class B, then you can able to access for class A methods and variables. But if you create after making the relationship, if you create an object as a class A, and you can able to access only for it within a class A variables, but you cannot access for class B, okay? <clears throat> Here we can able to call as a base class or super class or uh, parent class, okay? And this is a derived class and child class we can able to call it, okay? And how we can able to achieve this inheritance concept, okay? For this, I'm going to create one particular <clears throat> inheritance demo.js and here we can able to create first class a okay in this class a i'm going to use for there are two variables one one is normal a equal to 10 okay and i'm going to use for display okay i'm going to use for display and here i'm going to use for console.log and here I am displaying for A itself, okay? And also I can uh, <coughs> comma this dot A, okay? That particular value I'm going to def defining here, okay? And again, I'm going to use a class B, okay? And the class B, and we need to make the relationship between class A and class B. For this, we can able to use a extend keyword, extends, okay? And that extends keyword, it will make the relationship between the A and B. Okay. Now again, I'm going to use for B equal to five. Okay. And then I'm going to here, I'm going to use for show. Okay. In this show, again, I'm going to use for console.log. Okay. <coughs> B space comma this dot <coughs> B. Okay. Now, even you can able to see if you make the this keyword, then it will give you for A also. Okay, A also it will give you. A. And A parent value. Okay. Now, I'm going to create an object of this particular class, which is B. Okay which is B I'm going to create OBJ equal to new B. Okay. And here I'm going to use for OBJ dot. You can able to see display is the function. It is there and show also presented. <coughs> First we'll display for display for A1. Okay. 
now i am going to use for my terminal to open <clears throat> now here node space dot slash and we need to use for inheritance and enter see a gamma 10 i'm able to display okay if i want to display for b value then again i'm using for b dot show okay if i run again now i can able to get for both the values okay see and even uh, a parent value also it will display we can able to access inside the child class for the a value in case if i create for object of obj1 equal to <clears throat> new a okay now obj1 dot now you can see if i'm going to use for display display no show show is the function it is presented okay now if i'm going to first we need to mark it comment now see it is saying that show is a not a function okay well we create a for child class object and we can able to do it but uh, when you are going to do for <coughs> a object and you can able to access it will it will it is given for access right but we cannot able to run because compile time we can able to get for show is not in a function this is the error message we can able to get it okay like this we can able to do for achieve we can do for inheritance concept and even we can check for overriding override is nothing but if already existing there is something method is presented without impacting that particular method we need to reuse that method into our another class okay another class without impacting that particular class we need to do whenever you create an object of that particular class then only you can able to access okay this called as a overriding means uh usually you can able to say now banking applications okay rate of interest each company will flow for different but every company will follow us with rba rules right rba it will give us for certain uh home home loan or personal loan something loans they will give you for some instruction this is the rate of interest you need to use okay company to company like bank to bank there is a slight between the changes based upon their revenue they are going to change for home rates interest okay that moment what will happen rba defines that each bank need to be follow 5.2 as a home loan rate of interest but unfortunately there is a company so on so on company they given more and they are not able to retrieve now they want to increase the home loan then they will get the approve and then without impacting that particular method they, they need to reuse the method then they need to change that 5.5 to 8.5 or 10.5 like that they need to increase that moment they can able to use how we can able to create it <clears throat> this one okay for overriding also we can see it now and now here i'm going to create for class and we can able to uh, take any bank or anything okay or ba i'm going to define the rba as a name okay now rba rate of interest roi it will return for return 5.5 as rate of interest okay and now class and i can able to use h d f c okay and we can able to use for extends keyword okay for extends by using for rba okay and here again i am going to use for rate of interest function okay here again i'm going to use for in return <clears throat> 8.1 as an interest rate okay now again one more class
okay and here one minute now i'm going to change for icica okay rate of interest become a three okay like this we can able to do it now if i'm going to run this particular one <coughs> okay now I, for running purpose we need to create an object of this right now i'm going to create the object of obj equal to new icica bank okay now here obj dot ry okay and what will become the output <clears throat> oh sorry we are not printed right sorry console dot log okay again we need to run this one now see 8.3 is displayed okay now if i want to go for hdfc bank now i want to go for hdfc bank object creation okay now i'll go for here obj1 and this one hdfc okay and here also one okay now again if i run now see 8.3 8.1 okay both are <clears throat> display without any impact three also there and 8.1 also presented if you go for rba uh, object creation and if you access this one and it will give you for 5.5 without impacting any and means without impacting for existing functionality we can able to reuse those methods into any other location this is called a overriding concept okay and also we have another one is super class okay there is a super class what is a super class means like in a previous we saw about for inheritance right the inheritance what we have done we can able to access for child class objects in uh, sorry parent class objects into child class right but at the same time you can able to use a, there is a super class we can use for super by using the super class we can able to assign uh, methods like sorry values for that okay any value you can able to assign by using the super keyword okay parent what all the parent variables are there those parent variables we can able to assign okay how we can able to achieve those things super keyword okay for this again i'm going to create another file super demo dot js okay and here again i'm going to create the class okay uh demo super okay and here i'm going to creating the constructor okay constructor i'm going to pass for value just one variable okay just one variable this dot value equal to value okay now this particular one i'm going to displaying for some some place display okay and here in this function i'm going to use for console dot log and i'm going to use for this dot value okay I'm going to display those value, which is the value we are going to use, right? Those values I'm going to use. The same time I'm going to use for another class demo super one and extend extends demo super. Okay. And again I here also I'm going to create one constructor. Okay. In the constructor, I'm going to give that there are two variables one is value and another one is value one okay and here there is a value is presented right that particular value is presented in a parent class okay parent class okay for that i need to assign a value the constructor basically what happen whenever you create an object of that particular class that immediately the constructor also will call we need to assign for those values to to that particular 
variable right <clears throat> that moment how we can able to use now here i can able to use for super keyword super keyword will uh, assign those values to the parent okay and now the last one this keyword by using this dot value one equal to value one okay now i want to display both the values okay now here <clears throat> display one okay console dot log and you can able to call it as uh, this dot value one okay now we are able to do it now even you can able to call this particular method also inside the method also okay this dot display like this also we can able to call We'll call by one by one. Okay. Now you can see here object equal to new demo super one. I'm going to create because we extended inside that, right? OBJ dot display one function and OBJ dot display one also. Sorry, demo one. Now. Display one. Okay and we need to provide the two values for that right first one i'm going to provide 10 and 5 okay there are two values i'm going to passing okay now if i'm going to hit this particular one see 8.3 oh sorry node space dot slash super and see 10 comma 5 we can able to get it Okay, like this we can able to do for by using super keyword we can able to assign we can able to access parent class also and we can able to assign the value to the super class like parent class variables. Okay, I hope it this entire information for you. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.